Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, gonna be a really excellent TVZ between Last and Queen here on Fighting Spirit. Top right, it is the Red Zerg player Queen, and in the top left here, we have the Brown Terran player. It is Last, under his smurf name, Gosu, which either speaks to his sense of humor or his sense of uh, arrogance, right? Gosu is a term that means excellent play in Korean. So I'm not entirely sure what personality Last has, but man, naming yourself Gosu with a Smurf name, I kind of feel like it's a joke, right? Let me know in the comments what you think. So it's a TVZ here on Fighting Spirit. Haven't had one of these in a while. I've had TVZ in Fastest Map and on other maps like Circuit Breaker and uh, what was that other one? Then the Way of the Yeti? Hmm. If you didn't watch my Terror replay that I posted last Thursday, go ahead and watch it for a super duper Gosu move that he pulls. And I'm not using Gosu in a super funny way. It is dang dang Gosu. Alright? Alright. If you want a link, let me know. I can get it to you. Let's see here. Barracks coming up inside. Inside the main base. Not walling off. Hmm. What if this is an early pool, lass? What are you going to do then? I mean, it's not. It's a 12 hatch, but still. What if it was a 12 pool? And, like, what if Queen got lucky? And what if you didn't have anything defending at all? Because to deal with. I mean, deal with a really fast pool in this situation where you're going for your Rax timing here. You need to have SCVs on the ramp and then Marines behind it. But if you don't see it coming, you can't get there in time. And the Lings are there and then you die. So just risking it. I mean, that's the thing. StarCraft, we like to think of it as entirely a game of skill. Absolutely true facts. But at the same time, there are also risks that are taken. Which introduces the concept of luck. Right? Just got lucky this time. I mean, obviously, the odds of getting early pulled on a giant four-player map like this are not very good. Because the Zerg player knows he has to get lucky himself in order to find the correct location where the Terran player is, right? Ooh, nice jukes, though. Nice jukes there about a queen. APMs from both players, pretty pretty intense stuff. About 500 for last, 350 for queen, which is enough. I mean, come on. Totally and utterly enough here. SCV scouting around. Drone has to get out of there because there's a marine up. And SCV says, oh, thank goodness it's a fast hatch. Hatch first play. Pool's not even done yet. Excellent, which means I can sit here for a long time. Nothing can be killing me because there's not even any gas taken yet. So yeah, this is a pretty, pretty macro opening. That gas is late after the macro hatch. So indicates to me he wants a lot of drones, possibly a whole lot of lings, but nah, the timing to wait for speed if your gas is this late, it's just not. It's got to be for drones, right? Then take your third base here and everything is cool. On the other side, Terranville, we going eight racks. We going for some Macaroni. Last is very good at both of those. He can open mech. He can go from an eight racks or so, five racks, whatever, into mech. He can go mech later than that, whatever. He can do whatever he wants, right? Last is very, very good at transitioning and using both bio and mech strategies. Queen is excellent with queens, as you might expect, has actually used them to beat a mecking Terran in the past. It might have actually been last. Now that I'm thinking about the match that is uh, currently in my head here. So we could see queens, no promises though. And we definitely also will see a lot of zerglings. Lurkers are a must in this matchup. Like if you don't get lurkers at all, you're probably not going to do super hot. That said, we've seen Soma do some amazing stuff, right? In ASL with just mutalisks and zerglings against Terran. Literally just lings and a ton of mutalisks. And the Terran looks completely helpless. I haven't seen a lot of players do that, though. So I don't know if Terran's figured it out. Ooh, that was a good that was a good catch. Because speed's not done yet for the Lings. And so obviously, you know, catching up to the SCV was not a guarantee. But trapping it on the ramp totally worked out. So yeah, bit of a feint here. I don't know if this is really intended for last to move out. But what it does is it forces a lot of Lings out from Queen. It's it's a feint, right? We talk about it a lot. And if you want to kind of screw up a Zerg player's build, all they want to do is make drones, right? Unless they're planning on killing you in the first five minutes. They just want to make drones. But if you push them and you kind of show an army, you're like, I'm going to come attack you. Then they have to make lings, right? This is lings. Every two of these could be a drone. Drone, 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 three drones. 
three drones in the first five minutes. You know how, how useful it is to have an extra three drones in the first five minutes? So super mega annoying stuff here, but Zerg players know how to deal with it. They're just going to be droning behind it, right? Five drones at a time, Aspire's on the way. And then once some just pop out, we'll probably see a third base. That's usually how this works. Safety creep colony up. But because he has such good vision here, he'll see when last moves out. He doesn't need to throw down, you know, three creep colonies and upgrade them to Sunkins already. Is he seriously okay? Uh, he doesn't need to, but you know he's going for two. Yeah, so the Lynx see this. So it is definitely a big Medic 2 Rex opening here. Out of last. Engineering Bay is here, but no upgrades coming in yet. That Engineering Bay is just for the missile turrets. And so far, pretty standard opening stuff here for the TVZ. So yeah, Mutalisk popping. Let's see. Are we taking our gas? We've taken our gas. We have about 900 gas here. So yeah, sure. Nine Mutas. Maybe maybe even up to 11 here on this opening salvo if he wants to wait a couple minutes, right? Oh yeah, 11 is definitely doable. He's got enough supply. He's running low on larva is the larger problem here, but that's why he has three hatches. <gasps> Genius. Makes nine mutas at once. Way to go, Idaho. Excellent job here by Queen. Much better player than I am, obviously. And there's your Hydra Den. Going to get your Lurker Aspect and then try to defend your third base. See, the problem is you got multiple <laughs> ramps to defend, right? But if you kind of cover this area well enough, you don't have to really defend this ramp. If you're defending this ramp, you've messed something up. If you spawn to the top right in your Zerg, right? So just a couple lurkers at the top of this ramp is usually enough to handle incoming marine medic attacks like this. The lings are just like, are you are you coming or not here? Man, lurker aspect gets started instantly. Yeah, these timings are beautiful from Queen. Like, really, really nice. Wow, he wants four sunkins. The three sunkins are not enough. All right, so muta harass has begun. We do have nine of them. Is that it? I think that's it. I think we're going for lurkers after this. So three turrets are up because... This is more than the five or six traditional mutalisks. If you have more than the five or six traditional mutas, you want three turrets at each base at a minimum. We see five coming up at the natural base there, and marines in a beautiful position to make sure the mutas can't get into the main base very easily. So this is being defended very well by last. I think these players are honestly doing pretty well for themselves. Oh, I forgot about... Wow, I forgot. It's been a while since I've cast a CVT on this map. But yeah, you just expand down here, and then you put the lurkers at the top of this ramp, and then you're good. Derp, this is not a third base location. Falcon, what are you on? Well, it's like 11 p.m., and it's been a long day, and I woke up at like 6 a.m., so... That's what I'm at. Phew, okay, SCVs are dying. Look at this, Marine looking. Did he... Oh, he didn't find him! He didn't find the drone! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That drone being alive is a massive, massive win for Queen. What are these Lings doing down here? Hey, guys, what's up? I don't know. Either way, these guys threatening the front a little bit, but four sunkins is enough to keep them off. And at some point, just throw down the hatch, man. You can you can handle it. It's only one Marine. One Marine can't kill you fast enough to kill you before you finish. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so this Marine dies, and now this drone moves. He doesn't actually know how many Marines are here. It could be like five. Whoa! Going for it, though. Last. Going for it here. Muta's on the backside, not doing all that well. Oh my gosh, Lurker is just at the very last second. Queen is walking an absolute tightrope today with what he's doing. He gets the Lurkers out just in time to save his natural base, right? He gets the Mutas out right on time, too. I mean, this has been... It's a good game, I'm going to say. It's a little bit delayed here at the third. A single Marine can do that to you. But this is where things can start to go better for the Zerg player based on the opening that we're seeing here. The opening is very strong against Zerg. But if you can defend well enough, then the Terran's kind of delayed his third base a whole bunch to try to kill you. And if you can't, then hey, you're up in bases. Look, a third base is here and almost done. So where do we put the Lurkers, though? Mm, oh, here. Okay. Fair enough. Got some Lings and Mutas. And yeah, Ling Muta Lurker is pretty fantastic against any kind of an assault from a Terran. They're going to run from that for sure. If there's Lurkers and Lings and Mutas overhead, uh-uh. It's too much for a Marine Medic Army to handle, at least in this number. If you have, you know, a maxed out Marine Medic Army, then sure, go for it. But at this stage of the game, not really. We are introducing some tanks into the production. Defiler Mound coming in from Queen, because he's an insanely good Zerg player. Defiler Mound, mound timings are before 10 minutes. Fourth base, bottom left. This is a ninja. This is absolutely a ninja expand that he's trying to get away with. And But there's an SCV up here. 
So nope, didn't get away with it. And now what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna try to kill this fourth base is what we're gonna try to do. Let's head down this way, boys. And here they come. Uh, this is probably a cancel. I would honestly, if I was queen, cancel this and just throw the hatch up here. This is your standard fourth base location, man. Dude, no, he's gonna let it finish and it's gonna die. Dude, queen? Queen. All right, man, well, free hatchery. Come and get it. Entirely naked expansion. No defense whatsoever. Come and get some. I am disappointed. I guess, in fairness, he didn't see the SCV over here because he can't. Because buildings that are coming up don't have any kind of vision at all. They're super blind, so fair enough. It's more blind than I am when I'm casting a game of StarCraft. Alright, well, uh, free hatch, and yes, there you go. <laughs> Be a good Zerg, and take your fourth base where you are slotted to, thanks. Please take- you have the resources, thank you. Okay, on the other side, still on two base. Um, I don't know, I don't know about this. Last, buddy. I, I mean, I like what you're doing. You've got 107 supply, which is awesome. Pretty much what I would expect at this level. You have some science vessels and siege tanks, and guess what? Uh, Lurker's mortal enemies are science vessels and siege tanks, right? Ooh, a fifth base here on the right side, too. All right, Irradiate is up. Adrenal gland is coming in, so the filers are up. I don't know if he can save this fifth. But I don't I don't think he's really meant to, actually. Yeah, that's a canceled base if I've ever seen one. Because it's two bases. Like, trying to get a fifth base up is a little crazy greedy, man. Oh! Yo, he got it! Are you kidding me? He got it! But Micro from last gets right on top of the Lurker. Can't kill you all when you're surrounding it like that. Beautifully done. Mew just tried to harass a little bit, but um, the turrets are still here. That didn't go particularly well for them, I don't think. Alright, so yeah, look. It's four base, right? To two base, which is fine. Four bases to two bases is a Zerg player. is great. A fifth base was too much. It was really being too greedy here, but some... Oh, it's a trap. It's a Lurker trap! Lurker trap! Oh, man. Spamming stop. Absolutely help take out a couple of those siege tanks. The marine count is not heavy enough to handle even seven mutalisks anymore. But a radiate certainly is. Split it off. Great split. Nice split. And last has got to push out. So, ooh. Last is now in trouble. He is in Le Trouble right now. He is 103 to 90 supply, but this fourth base is popped. We've got lurkers. We've got defilers now. Here we go. Defiler just used the Nidus Canal to come down to this bottom right. We can dark swarm it up. And now what do your Marines have to say for themselves? Well, he brought some fire bats. True. Fire bat splash damage ignores dark swarm. That can be good. Third base coming up bottom left for last. Yeah, he needs that. Like a lot. A super mega lot, dude. Where the darks? There's the dark swarm is at. Now you're firing, but from the left side. So, for whatever reason, siege tanks firing from the right side of lurkers inside Dark Swarm can injure them. Or like, it's it's a very weird setup. There's a toy cop. One of my loyal subscribers did some experimenting with it for me and discovered that is like direction matters. It's one of the weirder things I've ever seen. I don't even know, man. All right, my that is a beautiful. Yo, Lurker, Burrow, Dark Swarm timing. Queen is killing it today. Like, I, I mean, I'm acting like I haven't seen good, um... Like, I haven't seen really, really good Zerg play recently, and I have. But man, Queen's looking great. Is this a mech transfer? I feel like that meme. The anime dude with the glasses and the butterfly. Falcon sees eight vultures. Is this a mech transfer? Somebody make that meme. I'll post it on my Facebook. So I'll post it on the channel. How about that? Because it, is, it isn't. It it isn't a mech transfer. We're just, you know, we have some tanks. Uh, and we have some vultures. But also, we're producing marines still. And, uh, oh, but additional factors are coming up. Okay, all right. All of a sudden, it is now officially a mech transfer. So, or transition, rather. There you go. Transition, transition. Excellent, excellent. And a fourth base is up here from last two. Man, he went from two base to four base real fast, didn't he? Liking it. But the fifth base is up here on the right side for Queen. Went for it a little bit early, but got it eventually, yeah? I'd say that happened. Absolutely. Drop! Couple drones die, but everything largely gets cleaned up over here, too. It is only 48 drones, though, for Queen. And, my gosh, the mech transition at 15 minutes is just so hard to handle. 
so hard to handle. Oh my gosh. A Defiler gets killed. Vulture's a good unit, man. Spider mines are good units too. We're making, still making marines though. Because it doesn't really have the anti-air to handle a giant mutilisk swarm. So he's like, I gotta make some marines. They've got one one, but that's probably all they'll end up getting here today. So yeah, it's definitely mech. All right, man, Queen, you're in a tough spot, man. You really don't have a lot of time or resources to make just drones at the moment. So kind of trying to split the difference here. Vultures going for that run by. It's felt pretty good about it. Plagu on a bunch of those Terran units, including science vessels. Really, really important targets for the Plagu. But man, Lass has just not been bothered on the other side of the map for some time here. Spider mine hit. I don't know, man. I don't know if that works for a spider mine hit or not. Oh, science vessels, though. Papa, kapa, kapa. Last was sending them home to repair them. They got intercepted by mutas. That was a beautiful play. Okay, so Queen's playing well here. I just. The number of times I see an elite Terran player like Last transition into mech and then lose to a Zerg player is like. I don't know. It feels like 20%. It's not super high, is what I'm trying to say. It is hard for Zerg players to deal with. Is that a fifth base? Dang, last. He just knows. He just knows he has map control, right? Look at this. There's nothing. There's a couple overlords around, but if you want to run through here, there's spider mines everywhere. So many spider mines everywhere. There's marines, there's siege tanks, there's vultures roaming around. Ultraless Cavern is on the way. Caron Booster's coming in, so the anti-air doesn't have to merely be marines at this point. Is this a drop? It is an attempted lurker drop. Okay. Well, um, hmm. <laughs> Bit intercepted. That's fine. I guess he just. Oh, okay. So that. All right. Well, you unload in a really suboptimal place. And then you get scanned and you get murderized. And he killed like a vulture. Two vultures. Oh, they didn't kill you in time with the scan. So it's still. Oh my gosh. This lurker doing some work. It's got three kills. It's three vulture kills too. Nice. What are these lings doing? Making sure this base doesn't happen. I guess. Good job, y'all. Keep that rolling. And look, making sure a Zerg base doesn't come here either. So, the Zerg player needs to expand. Queen needs a sixth base now. Here's going to be hardish. 12 o'clock may be somewhat viable. But Adrenal Gland Lings with plus one attacker up. Trying to save the life of this Overlord. And does it. Woo! Three HP left on that Overlord, too. It's not doesn't have anything in it. Maybe it's just trying to put some of the fear of drops into last, which I kind of like, actually. Oh, he's not even microing. Okay, so never mind. Expanding down here is not bad at all. Yeah, one spider mine for one ling is probably fair. Floating the engineering bay over here. Kindness plating coming up. It's 169 to 150 supply in favor of the Terran. Plus, he's really cost efficient. But this can change some things. I've always said, if you're dealing with a mecking Terran, drops are a good way to do this. So, okay. This is great. A couple lurkers inside some Dark Swarm. He's not actually in Dark Swarm. Uh, I'm not sure he's still in Dark Swarm. Oh, great Dark Swarm up. And actually canceling an upgrade here on an armory, quite possibly. If they can pull that out, dude, this is a sick drop. Yeah. Armory down cancels a vehicle attack upgrade. This one's trying to get down too, but it's not covered by Dark Swarm. And as a result, it probably... The Lings will not be able to kill it. These lurkers are, you know, fine against buildings. Not the best against buildings. But it is forcing last attention to go home a little bit. There's another drop over here on the left side <gasps> that is killing a ton of SCVs while we're at it. Dude, this Defiler is still alive too. Down to 73 SCVs to 69. Queen! Queen knows the power of the drop. Main base gets cleaned up. This 9 o'clock position for last is still under assault, but once again, lurkers suck at killing buildings. Also, the Dark Swarm is wearing out. So, yeah. Trying to kill a siege tank with a lurker is nice. Oh, six o'clock base. Six o'clock base for Queen is coming up. And I think Queen gave himself the breathing room that he needed there. Oh my gosh, the lurkers, their scan ran out again. Queen is getting some really, really lucky setups here. There we go, forcing another scan to be burned to kill that. Hey, let's uh, try to drop in on here. There's literally nothing defending this area but a bunch of missile turrets. Which, you know, if you're defending against drops is pretty awesome, actually. So, 
Unload, 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 unload before you all die. Okay, so the overlords are all basically dead, but some nice dark swarms are up. So overlords dying all over the place, but more dark swarms. Missile turrets getting killed at least. Forcing a liftoff on this command center, plus all these SCVs are dying. Oh, but most of the army for the Terran is here. So this is not going to be like a complete, complete and utter lockdown. Anabolic synthesis on the way. Actually, metasynaptic node coming in here too. Uh, for the Defiler energy. Is Last just sick of this? He's supply blocks. But so, but so is Queen with all those overlords dying. So, I don't know. This might be a situation where Last is just like, all right, I'm sick of this. This is really, really annoying. I'm just going to go kill your bases. And uh, if you want to try to drop me, go for it. I'll win the base race because I'm a Terran. Look at this Ultralisk dive. And by that, I mean get right on top of his target. Oh, my gosh. The Ultralisk madness right here. Ultra Ling Man with good upgrades and some Lurker support because why not? Uh, Dude. Dude. Queen. Kind of killing it. Where's that over? Oh, the Ultralisk speed is really important for distance closing. Okay, it just kicked in. And suddenly it's 176 to 159. Uh, Queen. It's Queen doing it. The drops gave him the time he needed. Dude, those three Ultras died real fast, didn't they? Okay, this is nice. If you can catch tanks that are kind of alone in the middle of the map that are trying to join the party, but they're not sieged up or anything, uh, especially with Zerglings, you're going to do just fine. Oh, my gosh. SCV is getting massacred. Blah! That Ultra dies, but guess who's got more? Guess who's got more coming? And by that, I mean... Probably the 11 Ultras that are in production right now. Why not? Is this more drops? Oh, this is fake. Fake out. Hey, he says, respond over here. Respond to this drop. And unseed your tanks and bring them over this way. Last is not biting. He's like, nope, you know what? Absolutely not. Dude, this... This is an Ultralisk train, if ever I've seen one. He just made 11 Ultras at once. Queen's doing all right, man. He's feeling his oats right now. Just a question of, do you really want to... Oh, no, we're loading up. Okay, yeah, just... We've seen too many Zerg players just A-move here and try to get through this line of tanks with plus two attack and spider mines and vultures and stuff. But if you drop on top of them, it is so much more effective. It looks like that's what he's kind of setting up to do here. He's being patient, though, right? He's not, you know, I would probably be like, I have 15 Ultras, go. And then they would all die to tanks, and I'd be very sad. Ah, all right, so Lings are kind of... At least distracting last. I don't think that's an attempt to break this. And he thought about heading down this way and then changed his mind. 180 to 164 supply. Queen is up. Where are these leagues going? Uh, okay, we're clearing spider mines out, I guess. Exploring the map. Making it so it's easier for future Zerglings to run around. They're sacrificing their own lives. This is a great game. This might actually get an epic tag. I don't know. We'll see. I think both players are playing very, very well. But when it's suddenly 190 to 180 supply in favor of a Zerg when they have these kind of upgrades, it doesn't actually have the melee attack upgrade yet, but I'm not sure how much it helps Ultras in this situation. Dude, the drops, though. And he's getting Lurkers in, too. You can't get lurkers in on top of mech like this unless you drop them in because they're so slow and squishy. 12 o'clock getting taken. Is Queen just going to straight up win this game with Ling Ultra drop? Lurker Defiler. It feels like he's in position to do it, especially by taking this 12 o'clock. That is an economic advantage that he is enjoying immensely. It doesn't... I mean, he doesn't have any money yet from it, but the fact that Last can't get it and he does is amazing. He's going to drop in the main. Dropping the ultras. And this is gonna work. <laughs> um Yeah, I mean sure, Ultra. You did it good. You killed a siege tank. Nice job. You're also very dead. Also, the natural base is a full Zerg zoo at the moment. Dude, oh, science vessel's getting whacked. I think Queen has done this. Dude, Queen, you absolute boss. One of the 20% wins where an elite. Terran player goes mech and loses to a Zerg player. Bam! Queen is your winner here in 24 minutes. What an absolute turnaround that was. There was that moment where Lass was sitting on four bases pretty comfortably. Then he throws up a fifth. 
And it just felt like there wasn't enough stuff here for Queen, right? He couldn't really defend all that well, so we went for the drops. And as per usual, the drops gave him the room to maneuver. He dropped here. He dropped here. He dropped in the main. You have to do this. I mean, maybe not. Maybe you can defeat Mecking Terran at your level without drops. But if you're going to beat somebody like Last or somebody like Flash or somebody like Light or Scan, you know, like you have got to drop on them. It's almost a requirement. The number of times, or I guess Queens maybe too. I've seen Queens and I've seen drops work in this situation. Just constantly running across the ground into set up siege tanks like here. Trying to just, he could have easily just taken all of his 15 Ultras and, you know, 50 Zerglings and boxed them and gone, Bruh! but the number of tanks that were here with the Spider Mines, with the Vultures, uh-uh, he might have cleared this, but he would probably would have lost everything while he was at it. And it's just, it's a not great, not a cost-efficient play. Drops are way more cost-efficient here. I can't believe he never got the plus three attack. I guess he started it, so good enough. Good enough here. And then, yeah, making sure the 12 o'clock never happened and successfully defending the six o'clock was massively important for him. Really, really important. So, great job, Queen. Getting a win in a tough, tough situation. And last is like, how do you deal with drops? Uh, did you see how many missile turrets I had over here? It was a lot. It was a lot last, yeah. I don't know. Radiate seemed to work pretty well. Remember that drop that you shut down with a Radiate and, like, well-positioned Marines? Maybe that's it. But, yeah, nice job by last. He was uh, only at 2-1 upgrades. That's actually surprising. They didn't have plus two armor or plus three attack yet. So ooh, upgrade advantage helping here too. Neither player's maxed out, but they're better for a queen. So that helps a lot. Zero kill lurker. Sure. Hey, guy. Nice. And then the defiler play. So every, the timings for queen, right? Getting the mutas out, getting the third base up in time, getting lurker aspect done. Lurkers created just in time to deal with that first push. Muta harass continuing, expanding a little bit late to the third, but then taking the fourth and going greedy for the fifth. But getting punished for it, but having another base ready to go. So it didn't hurt him too much. I just, man, good stuff. Great stuff. Uh, I'm not going to give it an epic tag. How about that? That's fine. Good game, though. Really good CPT. <laughs> uh, all right, good stuff. So let's go ahead and check out 188,000 points here uh, for Queen. 174 for last. Ended up out producing the Terran by about 150, 140 units. Uh, killed way fewer, but hey, it makes a lot of sense. These ratios are pretty good, honestly, against a mecking Terran for sure. And then this is what really matters. Did you outspend your Terran opponent who was mecking by a full 9,000 resources? Yes, okay, then you can win. But the number of times we've seen this attempted and it's like the Zerg spends 2,000 more resources than the Terran. It's just not enough. <sighs> it's just not enough. All right. Trey, Trey, fantastique. And that's going to be it for me today. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.